Hello there, Leos. I'm Lachan Devi with Power Life Hypnosis. This is your December 2018 love and romance reading. As always, I would like to say a very big thank you to all those that thumbs up and like my readings. Thank you to all of those who comment and share. And thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. I appreciate the support from you all. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so at my website, PowerLifeHypnosis.com. You can also book a reading with me now directly through the description box below. If you would like to know who your future long-term romantic partner is, when you'll meet your partner, where you'll meet your partner, what your partner will look like, how to recognize your partner, how you'll meet your partner, and more, you can book a future partner reading with me now through the description box below or again on my website, PowerLifeHypnosis.com. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can contact me at any time through the free Instant Go app. The link for that is instantgo.com slash powerlifehypnosis. The links to my Instant Go, to my website, and a book arena with me now are all in the description box below. So you can go ahead, Leos, and check those links out. This is a general reading, so the messages may or may not resonate. If they do not, go ahead and check your moon and rising sign videos as those messages may resonate. Or if they do, you can check your moon sign and rising sign videos in order to get a more complete picture of your love and romantic relationships during this month, December 2018. You can also cross watch the reading for the sign of your romantic interest as well in order to get more messages regarding your love life during December. I'm excited that it's December. For some reason, I'm really excited to do this reading today. So let's go ahead and get into this, Leos. My fellow Leos. I'm a Leo rising. Okay, so I do have here the theme of what we're going to be experiencing. I have here our two predictions. I have our fortune for love and romance for the month of December. And then I have our guidance so we can discuss how to bring about the best outcome in our love lives at this time, this ending of the year. Hope you guys had a good year. Alrighty, let's get started. So Leo's, first off, engagement regarding the theme here. So it looks like our love lives are ascending to a higher level of commitment. Nevertheless, we are being guided and being reminded to love ourselves first because our self-respect makes us more romantically attractive. So this is a pretty straightforward message here when it comes to the theme. And of course, we'll see more so how this theme plays out as we move forward here. Nevertheless, this is saying that perhaps some of us are getting engaged and congratulations to those who are getting engaged to be married. Nevertheless, it looks like for most of us, in some way, our love lives are, again, ascending to a higher level of commitment. So we may be deeping, deeping, deepening <laughs> our commitment in our relationship with another person, which is great. Nevertheless, once again, we are being reminded and guided to put ourselves first. So even if we are going into a higher level of commitment, even if our relationship with another person is getting deeper and more committed, we must always put ourselves first as opposed to the other person. Because when we put the other person first, that is a trait that is a symptom of codependency. So let's put ourselves first. Let's put our happiness first, our well-being first. Because when we do that, we are able to bring the best of ourselves to our relationships, to our connections. We can only give what we have. So let's have that self-respect. Let's give ourselves love. Let's first put rocks into our bucket of love, so to speak. So we can fill that bucket up with all those wonderful rocks of self-love, which when I say rocks, I mean actions of self-love, taking care of ourselves first, telling ourselves that we love ourselves, whatever is self-love to us. Let's fill up our well with those beautiful 
rocks, those metaphorical rocks of self-love. So then we have enough love to give to our partners. Because again, when we are giving out of a half full well, then we are giving out our reserve of love that we need for ourselves. So then we are giving out the love that we don't necessarily have to give out. And that can again lead to unhealthy relationships. So let's love ourselves first. Let's put ourselves first. And again, our self-respect makes us more romantically attractive. You know, being desperate and, and, and giving so much to a person that can take away from our romantic attractiveness. So again, our love lives are ascending. Nevertheless, throughout this situation, we must love ourselves first. Let's go ahead and go into our first prediction here. The gentleman. I have the tramp here with the gentleman. I have here Jack and Sally with the moon. This movie has been on a lot recently, Nightmare Before Christmas, because we're approaching Christmas time. All right, we have the book. So before we get into what this prediction signifies, let's go ahead and get into who this may be speaking of. So. Before I get into these details, let me specify Leo's that these very specific details that I'm going to get into right now may or may not resonate with you. These details may also describe yourself. So please keep that in mind. So even if these details do not directly resonate with you, that does not mean that this reading is not for you. This just means that not every Leo in the world is dating a person who looks the exact same or has the exact same sign. So if these details do not resonate with you, just hang tight and we will get into what this prediction actually means. So the reading may still be for you, of course, even if the details don't resonate. So I just want to specify that very, very clearly. So Leo's. Who we may be interested in dating, dealing with during the month of December, if this does not describe ourselves. So, with this combination here, I am seeing someone, <laughs> excuse me, who may have a darker colored hair perhaps brown or auburn or chestnut colored hair. I'm seeing someone who could wear glasses or contacts. This person may be nearsighted. And if this person does not wear glasses or contacts, this could be somebody who has a geeky kind of style. Um, this could even be somebody who's a student, somebody academic as well. This could be somebody who has curves i'm seeing more curves not necessarily somebody who's overweight but somebody who's curvy it can even be bottom curves with this moon car but this is likely somebody who has some kind of curves on them curvaceous in some way i'm seeing a kind of an opposite when it comes to the skin tone of this person so again not every leo is dating the same person so that's why we have this range here so for some of you this could be somebody who is pale creamy skin tone for others of you this can be somebody with tanned or darker skin i am seeing somebody here who is very attractive definitely very attractive this could even be somebody who is glamorous Again, heavy set, but not necessarily overweight for some of you. Just somebody with some kind of curves, even slim, thick, I'm hearing. And for a very small number of you, this may be somebody with like a thick tongue, a prominent tongue. But again, that's a small number. So, see if there's anything else I can see here. Mm hmm. This could even be somebody creative. Somebody creative as well. Again, this could be a student, somebody academic, smart, intellectual. 
Okay. So what could this gentleman moon book combination signify? Leo's. This gentleman card is speaking of, depending on gender, yourself, or your romantic partner. If you're in a same-sex relationship, if you're a male, this is likely speaking of yourself. If this is a female, likely the more masculine energy in the relationship. Nevertheless, take this as it resonates. So we do have this gentleman here. So again, this can be ourselves, this can be our partners, however this resonates, as this is a general reading. And it looks like regarding this male, or if we are this male here, there are some secrets going on regarding either seducing this partner, wooing this partner, regarding the romantic connection with this partner. The book card stands for secrets, mysteries, things that are hidden. Things that are kept under wraps. So, and you know, the moon card in the Lenormand deck is separate from the meaning in the tarot deck. Nevertheless, I just want to mention this, that in the tarot, the moon card also signifies things that are hidden, secrets. So, we have this theme here. Again, this is a different meaning. But these two cards do signify that meaning of something hidden, mysterious, unknown. So, regarding this romantic connection with this gentleman, or if we are this gentleman, we will be experiencing in some way something hidden secret unknown somebody's keeping something under wraps somebody's not being completely forthcoming when it comes to their romantic connection and i did get that message as well for cancers sun moon rising so if you like me are also a cancer sun moon rising i'm a cancer sun then you may want to check out that reading as well as that reading may hold additional messages okay so nevertheless or if you're dating a, uh, a cancer rather as well so again there are some kind of mysteries or secrets um another way that this can go is regarding this male if you are this male somebody could be keeping their emotion secret this card can sometimes signify emotions so either there's some secret or hidden seduction, wooing, or somebody's keeping their secrets. I'm sorry, their emotions. Secret, hidden. They're not expressing how they truly feel, which is another meaning of this book card. This could be somebody who is more reserved, more dry, secretive, somebody who hides their true feelings. So that may be going on regarding their emotions. So if this is not ourselves, because we'll know if this is ourselves or our partners, depending on our situation, because of course we, we know if this is ourselves or not. So if we are being open and honest and forthcoming with our emotions during the month of December regarding this individual who we are going to a next level with regarding our connection this is not ourselves and this is speaking of the other person so just be mindful of that that this person if this is not ourselves again if we're not keeping anything hidden if we're not keeping anything secret this could be this other person who may not be completely forthcoming this person may have trouble um being outright and forthcoming and transparent about their emotions and their feelings so we do have that for our first prediction so let's go ahead and get into a second here so let's see here okay interesting I noticed that the first card here remember we had that uh, gentleman card now we have this rich good gentleman so for the first card we have the gentleman in both these different decks living room
a change. Rich good gentleman, living room, a change. So this rich good gentleman card, first off, let me say this is a good luck card. This is a very positive card. This card says if there are any challenges, which I don't see any challenges in these spreads, in either one of these spreads, I don't see any challenges. Nevertheless, this could signify a positive, a good and swift solution to any challenges. So if there are any challenges, know there will be a positive solution that may come quickly. This is a good luck card. Again, this casts a positive light on any spread. It's a favorable card. So it looks like here, this rich good gentleman again is going to be ourselves or our partners depending on the situation again take this as it resonates with you as this is a general reading so we have this rich good gentleman card and this living room card speaks of what is within our souls this card also came up in the cancer reading so again if you have a sign in cancer go ahead and check out that reading nevertheless this living room card speaks of our souls. So we have in the Kipper deck, the house, which is our dwelling, our four walls. We have the living room, which is our bedroom, our more intimate space here. So this is within our soul. So regarding this rich, good gentleman, what is going on within our souls, within our inner space, there's going to be some change. So this change can represent any kind of shift because this is a general reading and there's, you know, billions of, uh, Leo's in the world, so this is going to resonate in different ways. In some way, this can uh, speak of, for example, somebody leaving, somebody moving, some shift, some change. Of course, a change in some way. So there will be a shift within us, within our souls, an inner shift within us regarding this gentleman during the month of December. Again, I'm not picking up anything negative. We have no negative cards here. So there's gonna be some kind of shift in some way. And this can even be because our love lives are ascending to a new level. That's something I just heard. So we do have that for our second prediction. Okay. Let's go ahead and go into our fortune here. And for our fortune, Leos, I have something very, very beautiful that came up. Two cards of the sun. So this is our card here as Leo rules the sun. So to me, this is signifying that we're gonna be in our elements. We're gonna be in our element during the month of December. We're going to be feeling good. We're going to be feeling empowered. We're going to be feeling positive. We're going to be feeling at home within ourselves. So that is a very positive energy. And I think that this is absolutely amazing that we have the sun that came up through two different decks. Our perseverance is going to be rewarded. So we, there may be some perseverance, some sort of perseverance that has gone on within this relationship, within this situation. And perhaps the reward is this relationship going to a new level, ascending to a higher level of commitment. But our perseverance in some way is going to be rewarded. However, that is, of course, this is going to be different for all of us as this is a general reading. Nevertheless, we are being guided to open our hearts to the enormous growth ahead. So our love lives are ascending. There's enormous growth ahead. And our perseverance is rewarded. So this is all really good energy, Leo. So this is something that we can definitely look forward to during the month of December. Excellent, 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 and an excellent way to go into the new year, right? 
we want this we want to be in our elements in december so we can go into the new year with that positive energy behind us not behind us but with us rather backing us up when i say behind us backing us up in our corner so there's enormous growth ahead as our perseverance is rewarded there's enormous growth ahead in this relationship that is ascending to a higher level of commitment so i like this a lot i like it i like it a lot Our guidance so let me take a look at these cards Leo's okay 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 number 24 time for a nap in the reverse 28 building blocks upright this is the only card that came up upright all the rest of these cards are in the reverse four higher power 45 time to go in the reverse once again higher power time for a nap time to go in the reverse now this number 24 card in the reverse this is speaking of to attain happiness harmony joy abundance of love and romance it's a saying that some of us may be suffering from or experiencing workaholism workaholicism or even putting in too much effort because this is a love reading within our romantic relationships so we may be putting in too much effort so it could be that we are again suffering from workaholicism so we may be putting too much effort into our jobs our careers or this can be us putting in too much effort within our romantic relationships in some area of our lives we are putting in one or the other likely we are putting in too much effort here so this is saying that if we continue to put in too much effort there may be repercussions there for example this overgiving and this this over exertion of energy can lead to exhaustion it can lead to us kind of burning out in this situation so it will be best for us to kind of uh withdraw keep our energy to ourselves and when i say that i mean not allowing others to dictate our energy an example of this is just one example of this is say we are texting uh communicating online for example or some kind of online communication electronic communication with somebody that we um are romantically interested in with whoever this person is here it's important for us, to, for us to love ourselves first. And if we love ourselves first, then we are the ones in control of our own energy. So as, instead of when we hear that text noise go off, when we hear that noise go off, instead of rushing to our phones to see what this person is saying, to see what this person, whoever we're interested is in saying, is saying rather, interested in is saying, we can instead take a breath, pause acknowledge the sound okay it happened but not rush to our phones and that is a way that we can keep control of our own energy you see so if that person texts us and we immediately run to our phone we are letting that other person take over our energy for that moment so it could be useful for us to be mindful and be in control of our own energy it could be time for us to not put so much effort into a situation less there may be negative repercussions we may feel overwhelmed we may feel exhausted we may feel as though we deserve more you know there's so many things that can come from overexertion so let's be mindful of that let's take a step back let's 
take care of our own energetic boundaries. Let's put ourselves first and let's love ourselves first. That is very important during the month of December. Let's put ourselves first rather than someone else or something else. Okay. Building blocks. Number 28. So there may be an ending to an old cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. This building blocks card speaks of our foundations, our foundations of what our relationships are built upon. So our relationships are built upon our thoughts, our beliefs, our values, our patterns, our actions when it comes to our romantic relationships. So we are being called to be mindful and think about what patterns, what building blocks, what blocks we use to build the foundations of our relationships. And if there are some blocks that are not serving us, for example, fear-based thoughts, um, if we viewed any, I'm hearing, if we viewed any negative circumstances from childhood, for example, um, you know, parents being divorced early in childhood, because the things from zero to eight greatly affect the way we view the world. So say we've experienced some kind of early separation of parents, anything like that, that may give us some fear-based thoughts about our relationships, our ability to build, as this is building blocks, build healthy relationships, whatever is anything less than love, we are being guided to extract those, remove those from our mind state, from our thinking, from our way of viewing relationships. And that way, when we remove those blocks, that leaves a void, which is so beautiful because spirit loves voids. Because when we make the conscious decision to remove what is no longer serving us from our conscious minds, from our hearts, from our, you know, selves, when we decide to remove those things that are no longer serving us, we open up a void for spirit to fill with something more beneficial, more fulfilling for us, higher vibrating for us. So let's remove the blocks that are no longer, no, no, no longer serving us. And I'm hearing let's also be mindful of the blocks within this relationship that is ascending to a higher level. Let's be mindful of the way we are building this relationship because first off, we have to love ourselves first. We must love ourselves first because we must be in the highest vibrational space possible when it comes to building our relationships. Because say we are a place where we are at a place where we don't particularly love ourselves or you know, sometimes we may not even be aware that we don't really experience self-love because in some places, ego can mask as self-love. So say we don't particularly put in the effort, the action to love ourselves, then we will have a deficit of self-love. And so we have a deficit of the love that we are able to give to others. And when we build our relationships upon that, just as we were speaking of in the beginning, when we build our relationships upon that foundation where there is not enough self-love, then we are setting ourselves up in some cases for disappointment or we are setting ourselves up for challenging relationships, for relationships that do not fulfill us fully because we don't already have that self-love. So we don't have enough self-love or we don't have enough love to give away. We don't have enough love to give away. So a very, very large block, you know, it's like the the bottom block. I don't know, bottom block, you know, the, the biggest block that we need in our foundation is self-love, self-love. Because again, a lack of self-love in relationships or a lack of feeling of worth or whatever we're lacking when it comes to those high vibrations will 
manifests itself will reflect itself back to us in our romantic relationships. If we have a feeling as though we are not worthy of love, then we're going to attract and we're going to be attracted to those that will reflect that back to us. And it's interesting because, for example, when we have a lower self-esteem, we may see others in a more positive light than they should be seen. So that can create challenges as well. That can create us to engage in these unhealthy relationships as well. So let's be very mindful of what we are building our relationships on. Higher power, number four. So in the reverse, this card says, we may be attempting to go at the building of this relationship or ascending uh, uh, this relationship ascending to a higher level of commitment. We may be attempting to go about this situation on our own. Nevertheless, we are not meant to go about this on our own. We don't have to put in all the effort again. We don't have to be the ones to put in all the effort. We don't have to be the ones to do everything. We must co-create this relationship. We must call upon in order to bring about the best outcome possible. We must call upon our higher power. We are not meant to do this alone. When we do this with our small selves, when we attempt to go about life and the things that we really want with our small selves, with our ego-based selves, with our earthbound selves, with our human selves, our human minds, we may not be able to attain the best outcome because we are all flawed as human beings. We all have, you know, we have fear-based thoughts. We have things that can, uh, what's the word that I'm thinking of? I can't think of the word, but there are things that can hinder our relation, hinder our abilities to have the most fulfilling relationship. So it is important for us to call upon our higher power to do this in unison and, and, and together with our higher power. That is the best way to go about this situation. We are not alone. We need to call upon our higher powers. We need to work with our higher powers so we can engender the best outcome here. And number 45 in the reverse, time to go. So in order to bring stability, security, and to build a strong foundation, again, we must call upon our higher powers. With this 45 in the reverse, time to go. This card does speak of endings. Nevertheless, this card is saying that Leos, we may be at a situation or maybe at, you know, a junction where we think that all is lost. This card speaks of us feeling as though we are at the all is lost moment. Nevertheless, this situation is not ending. It's going to resurface. So we must radically accept what is going on and address it at this time. But again, acceptance Radical acceptance of what is going on will allow us to align with our higher powers, to see the beauty in the situation, to move forward in the best way possible. But know that all is not lost. This is, again, something that is going to resurface, something that can continue, that may likely continue on as things are ascending to a higher level. So let's trust our higher powers. Let's trust spirit, God, universe, the angels, whoever our higher power is in this situation and know that they have us covered our higher power has us covered so all will be well leos let's go ahead and go into our postcard from spirit dearest leo there are times you get lost but refuse to see your part in things and that happens to everyone something feels familiar but sort of off if you're feeling confused, it's best to throw away that map that you are using, which only lets you navigate based on your past experiences. That isn't what you need right now. Instead, take a deep breath and open to the truth. A desire to stay in denial means the part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that's shown up in your life. 
Yes, this is the right time to wake up and start again. By the way, you will always get another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. We love you so much. We really do. Be gentle with yourself. Coming out of denial is like being temporarily blinded by super bright lights. Allow your eyes to adjust. Carry on special one. A beautiful life awaits. Loving you so, so much. My lovely Leos, these are the messages that I have for you regarding your love and romantic relationships during the month of December. Thumbs up, like this reading. If the messages resonate, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already so we can go ahead and check back in to the situation, to what's going on in our love lives for the mid-monthly readings. Again, if you'd like to book a reading with me, go ahead and book a reading with me now through the description box below or at my website powerlifehypnosis.com and you can also contact me at InstantGo or through InstantGo rather at any time. I'm sending you all so much love and so much light and I wish you all the best of luck in your romantic relationships during the month of December. So I look forward to seeing you here again very, very soon. Thank you so much, Leos. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye.